I'm not Mitch Connor, and this is an article from Zero Hedge about uh, ISIS planning a U.S. nuclear attack in the next 12 months. And it features this bit from Scribe.com. This is the Beak magazine. Let's uh, grow this. They plot and all the plots. Got a little table of contents here, and there's two articles I'm going to go over, and I'm going to do a few videos on this. I'll give a little quicker introduction, though, because they um, believe the, uh, or, well, they act like they believe this crap about the Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting, and I've shown that the uh, tweets were, already shown that the tweets were uh, fraudulent, um, and I'm pausing and skipping through to save some time, but selected 10, videos selected from the Williat of the Islamic State, attack of the defiant, that's probably a fake one, I know this is a fake one, response of, of the defiant to the airstrikes of the tyrants, um, a message, fake, um, they got another selected 10 here, um, of ones I've seen here, harvesting spies, completely fake, and I broke that down in my, uh, ISIS in Imagination Land, uh, part two on VidMe, um, I got a short little video called ISIS in Imagination Land, the links to both of those videos, part one and two. Here's page 43, and this is a scene from another one of the fake videos, also broken down in ISIS in Imagination Land. So the point of showing that stuff is to show that um, this is, if ISIS is actually exists, is warring in the Middle East, this is not from ISIS, okay? This is fake propaganda, Western propaganda to sell to the fucking masses. Um, and this is a funny article. I'm, I'm going to review this one and the John Cantley article at the end in this series of videos. Conspiracy Theory Shirk is what this is called. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of... Islamic stuff here. You want to go through it, you know, go to the link, and uh, but I'm going to skip that part. I'm going to get to the meat of the article. Absolute power, knowledge, and ownership are attributes to the unique to Allah. This has always been the faith of Muslims since the father of mankind, Adam, treaded, er, since Adam treaded the earth and will continue to be so until the last believer passes away shortly before the hour. Only Allah knows the minutest details of everything, controls all events, and possesses every atomic particle. Even the pagans of the Jahiliyyah in the Arabian Peninsula did not doubt that Allah alone possessed absolute power, knowledge, and ownership, but they com committed shirk in many ways, including uh, attributing partial knowledge of the unseen to soothsayers, assigning shares of their crops and livestock to idols, and claiming their idols had held some influence to intercede for them. As for claiming their idols, soothsayers, and kings, uh, had absolute or near absolute power, knowledge, and ownership, then this was too much for even the corrupted uh, fitra of the jihadia and to tolerate. <laughs> um, this uh, uh, shirk word, or shirki, um, it, by inference, I assume it means like apostate. Sadly, this shirky attitude, both major and minor, entered into the hearts and minds of many supposedly Islamic leaders, scholars, and callers in imitation of the Arab nationalists before them, as they began to describe the enemies of Islam with attributes bordering Rebubia, Allah's lordship. To them, the Kufar had the near-absolute knowledge, power, and ownership to plot and execute any grand conspiracy of their desire. It is almost as if they uh, attribute to them not <coughs> uh, <coughs> the, sorry, the ability to create with the word be. Their evil became most apparent in issues related to jihad. If one desired to perform jihad, these leaders would warn that jihad now is a conspiracy to kill off the sincere Muslim youth and thereby leave the Muslims' land to the secularists. If one wanted to join a jihad, jamaha, they would warn that it was the creation of the kufar so as to aid in achieving kafir interests. If jihad operations like those of September 11th were carried out against the kufar, they would claim these operations were conspiracies by the kufar to justify their aggression against the Muslims. So right in that statement, they are claiming that, um, what is it, was it 17 hijackers with box cutters uh, took over uh, three planes, two of which were crashed into the World Trade Center by uh, people who couldn't fly for worth a fucking damn, according to their uh, flight instructors. Um, not to mention the act of flying those planes into those buildings is physically impossible. Anyway, um, so this is... Uh, you know, you know, they'd, you'd think they'd want to use something like that, you know, against America and say, no, no, America pulled it on themselves so they could come fuck with us. But no, no, they're saying that they actually did it, which they did not, and there's no fucking possible way. Hey, look at all the dust. Um, if a Mushahid leader achieved Shadaha or Shahada, 
Shaheda. They would say that the Kufair, yeah, apparently that's Kufair, used him up and needed um, to dispose of him just in case he decided to come out and expose the conspiracy of which he was supposedly a part. <coughs> the Mushahideen liberated territory occupied by the Kufair. The Kufair is the Western nations in America. They would say that the Kufair allowed them to do so because Kafir Kafir interests necessitated a prolonged war. If the Mushahideen announced an Islamic state, they would say that the Kufair uh, facilitated such so as to justify their continued interference in Muslim affairs. And so, according to these theorists, almost all the events in the world uh, were somehow linked back to the Kufair, their intelligence agencies, research technology, and co-conspirators. So, uh, what this article is trying to do is... Despite the overwhelming evidence that the United States is behind training these people, um, not these people that made this, because that's not ISIS, that's not the Islamic State, um, if it even exists, and I'm still uh, debating that with myself and others. And they're trying to say that the United States does not, did not create that. <coughs> okay. That... How do I know this is a propaganda piece by Western intelligence? I don't know. Anyway, to go on. Conspiracy theories have thereby become an excuse to abandon jihad, to have great off for the kufair, to forsake uh, the obligation of baya, to pursue the dunya, all in the name of political awareness. I'm not sure what all of those words are. Um, I could probably infer, but I'm not going to waste my time. To go on. One of the worst aspects of these theories is that they require no evidence, just foolish deductions. Really, deductions? Um, there's quite a bit of evidence, okay? Many people have gone over it, and I'm not even going to go into that here just for the sake of time. To go on. And worse yet, many of these conspiracy claimants are themselves involved in real kafir conspiracies. You see the Iraqi Sawa fighting alongside the Iraqi army, openly backed by Iran, while claiming that the Mujahideen are agents of Iran. You see Sawa factions openly handing over territory to the Nusayri regime, while claiming the Mujahideen cooperate with the Nusayri regime. You see, with the, uh, you see the different Sawa factions openly and publicly meeting with Qatar, Turkey, Al Salud, and the. Um, the Americans, and discussing their plans for cooperation against the United Islamic State, while claiming that the Mujahideen and Ansar are allies and agents of foreign states. You see the Syrian National Coalition considering meetings in Geneva with the Nisari regime, while claiming that the Islamic State strives to serve regime interests. No evidence is required to deduce a conspiracy, just desire and foolishness. R really. Bullshit. As for when the cooperation with the Kufair against Muslims is clearly public, suddenly becomes maslaha, the greater good. It is a maslaha to cooperate with the Americans against the Islamic State, not a conspiracy of kufr and treachery. It is a maslaha to cooperate with those factions backed by the Tawagites and Crusaders against the Islamic State. Um, not deviance nor apostasy. It is a mas maslaha <laughs> to advance under the cover of crusader and apostate plans against the Islamic State, not a gate to the deepest levels of hellfire. It is a maslaha to use the words civil law, civil state, and self-determination, not submission to the demands of one's crusader and apostate backers. The extreme belief in conspiracy theories varies between minor and major shirk depending on the degree of power, knowledge, and ownership attributed uh, by its believer to the kafir. If one were to reinterpret the history of the Muslims in accordance to the conspiracy th uh, theories of these theorists, he would come out with grave deviance. Only one has to ask these theorists, were the Muslims able to establish a state and expand it only with consent from the Roman and Persian empires? Were the Muslims agents of the Roman or Persian empires during their wars against these two rival empires? Were the Persians faking their war against the Romans while secretly being their allies? Were the Muslims faking their battles against one of the two rival empires? Were the false prophets and anti zakai leaders uh, secretly non-Arabs belonging to a foreign race? The answer to all of these questions is undoubtedly no. Has the world changed so much for these grand conspiracies to develop and overpower the world? The answer is no, but you will never find in the Sunnah of Allah any change, and you will never find in the Sunnah of Allah any alteration. Now, with these questions that the uh, that are posed about the Roman and Persian empires, this is appears to be about uh, the past, you know, like the Crusades times and such. And 
may very well be that uh, Islam was actually created by the Roman Catholic Church or Ro Holy Roman Empire to, in part, to serve as a distraction to the Persian empires. Um, let's see, so let's go on. <coughs> and to these conspiracy theorists, one asks, how are the following verses to be understood in light of these grand conspiracy theories? Oh yeah, just a quick note. I'm not going to try to freaking prove what I just stated about this stuff up here with the Roman and Persian empires at this point. I don't have enough time. Um, oh, what's his name? Alberto Gonzalez. I've looked into even uh, uh, debunking the guy, but there seems to be sufficient documentation for the guy. And um, the uh, supposed debunkings of him did not hold weight with me. I looked into it. So he might be telling the truth about that with the creation of it. Anyway, going on. They will not fight you all except within fortified cities or from behind walls. Their violence among themselves is severe. You think they are together, but their hearts are diverse. That is because they are people who do not reason. al Asher 14. This verse explains that the Kufar may appear united, whereas their hearts are actually full of animosity and enmity for each other. And this hatred sometimes manifests itself in their deeds. How can extremely grand conspiracies be executed of its members are so divided? Or if its members are so divided. At the top of the so-called pyramid, I say that, no, uh, they're not divided. Yeah, as you go on down below, there's a lot of division, but that's partly how they control everything. Go on, the Jews say the Christians have nothing true to stand on, and the Christians say the Jews have nothing to stand on, although they both recite the scripture. Thus those who do not know, i.e. I. the Mushrikin, speak the same as their words. This verse explains that the animosity and enmity between the followers of the different Kufri religions is manifest in their own words. This verse is not completely true, but uh, they like to pose that it is. Have you not considered those who practice hypocrisy, saying to their brothers who have disbelieved among the people of the scripture, If you are expelled, we will surely leave with you, and we will not obey in regard to you, anyone, ever. And if you are fought, we will surely aid you. But Allah testifies that they are liars. If they are expelled, they will not leave with them. And if they are fought, they will not aid them. And if they should aid them, they will surely turn their backs, and then they will not be aided. This verse explains that the hypocritical allies of the Kufair are too unreliable to execute the orders of the Kufair. So how are their grand conspiracies supposedly kept intact for decades and centuries? From those who say we are Christians, we took their covenant. But they forgot a portion of that which they were reminded, so we caused among them animosity and hatred until the day of resurrection. And Allah is going to inform them about what they used to do. This verse explains the great partisan hatred uh, the various Christian parties have for each other. Okay, the um, first half of this, which for some reason they didn't separate into two paragraphs, um, the Hippocratic allies of the Kufair are too unreliable to ex execute the order as well, and so on. So how is it kept in attacked for decades and centuries? Um, apparently these guys never read the prophecies of Daniel. And uh, for the second half, um, yeah, sure, there's great partisan hatreds that the various Christian parties have for each other, but... Uh, Apparently they don't know about the uh, Jesuits because the Reformation, the Jesuits were created to destroy the Reformation and they have infiltrated quite a lot since then and put in um, false uh, doctrines. And Furthermore, by the time of Muhammad's time in the 7th century AD, um, there was already quite a bit of division. I mean, the uh, Byzantine Empire had already started, you know, the Eastern, you know, Orthodox Christianity. And um, very similar to Catholicism, though. Um, that's also prophesied about in the Bible. And it is a subject that I'm studying right now, the Byzantines. And, well, well, they are just as much of a false form of Christianity as Catholicism is. I'm going to skip over a little bit and come to the uh, this little list here. And, and part two is coming up, but if anybody wants to, you know, think I'm at all trying to take anything out of context I'm willing to discuss it in the comments just uh, cite the aspect that I skip over and we can you know so I can go in and uh, review it and we can discuss it there hopefully I'll see you in part two which is of course linked in the description